well who's going to be king of Brisbane and the winner of tonight will be. They'll jump into the eight, as you said, Dan. There's the Dolphins card and Wayne has shaken this side up. Trey Fuller at the back and I think that's a great move. Uh, the hammer moves into the centres, but Trey Fuller just might provide something that's been missing in this Dolphins lineup. There's no Cody Nicarima. There's no Isaiah Katoa who has been benched. And they start with Sean O'Sullivan and Jake Avarillo in the halves up against a Broncos side that welcomes back Payne Haas. Massive return in a game that they just have to win. Payne Haas, after missing the last couple, returns to the lineup tonight. He will make an impact and he could swing at the Broncos' way. Here they come, the Broncos tonight's away team. Well, quite incredible that they're being booed onto their own home ground. There are a lot of red jumpers here, a lot of uh, rubber fins being worn, and it, it really is a, a miraculous recovery from Payne Haas. A Liz Frank injury could be months on the sideline, and as you pointed, pointed out, just a few weeks he has missed. Well, to go with Patrick Carrigan and Corey Jensen, who was great for them last week, if those three can combine, they'll make it very tough for the Dolphins. So the Dolphins making some noise here. It really is such a great story. How many fans they've brought to Rugby League in the National Rugby League. And here they come, the Dolphins. They have been in the midst of a late season fade out, but with Wayne Bennett, you just don't write them off. And he has thrown everything at this game, including that man at fullback. Yeah, plays his 10th game this season and has done some fantastic things for the Dolphins. And while his try scoring and line breaking are highlights of his game, his gutsy runs out of their own end uh, certainly bring a lot to the team. Back page of the Courier Mail today said fireworks and this man just might bring it to Vita Pangai. You know things will happen around he, who does not have a great relationship with his former club, Adam Reynolds. Can he steer his side into what appeared to be an unlikely finals appearance? Mark Nichols. Here we go. The battle for eighth position begins. It's the battle of Brisbane. And it's Payne Haas who's going to get the ball rolling. And look at this from the Dolphins. A couple of tackles left as it comes slowly to Platt. Long for Nichols. Here's Avarillo. Now Farnworth. Farnworth holds it. Is that going for the corner? Play the ball in the left corner. The whole team involved in this, whether they're a decoy or passing the ball. And then Herbie takes off. Just gives Asako enough space on the outside of both Cobo and Jesse Arthurs. Cobo at left centre tonight with no Dean Mariner. Jesse Arthurs partnering him on the wing. And Asako, who is in the race for the top point scorer, scores the first try of the night. He's got some work to do because Val Holmes had a good night. Uh, on Thursday that this this is the start you fancy they had to have the Dolphins they came out firing now they get their try Farnworth's delayed pass yeah just double pump just just enough to hold Jesse Arthurs up momentarily and that's all it took to allow Asako to get across the line probably had a chance earlier in the game uh, Asako with a chance to make it 6-0 Ranked 30 of his last 31, Jermaine Azarko. He's in tip-top form, and he's got it. Converts his own try. Dolphins 6, Brisbane nil. Jake Duke, down to you. The Dolphins moving the ball very early. That will please their coach, Wayne Bennett. That play finished off by Jermaine Asako, the former Bronco, who has been so consistent and durable for the Dolphins. He's actually played in every single one of the club's game. He hasn't missed one since their debut in round one of last season. He's only missed actually 12 minutes of game time in that period as well. Incredible record. He's been an incredible player for the Dolphins. He gets a try there, his 12th of the season. And we'll keep an eye on this ladder all evening because right now the Dolphins are sitting inside the top eight. It would be some story if they could make it in their second season. It's... Thank you, Jay. It's, uh, it's a long way from happening. Particularly but... off the back of what's happened well, to them at the back end. They've, they've won two from nine. And they, they're coming off their worst loss of the season. But Oh, Pangai, he went for the pass. Now, that might have come off the Broncos. Off Dolphins, yeah. OK. He had, he had Nichols beaten, but not Plath. Past the decoy. Oh, Reynolds, it was a hospital pass that came to him. And then he puts it down. The Just Dolphins, he, here's it in real time. You don't pull out of it. It's obviously been reviewed. 
Okay, we've got direct contact, shoulder to the head. No, no mitigation. It's on the court. It's on the ball. Second sin bin this year for Police Kofusi. They say they saw contact with the hand. So, from halfway, and down a man. Dolphins, this is all working out very nicely. Jake Duke, you've got some news. Adam Reynolds is a Category 2 HIA guy, so he will have the chance to pass the assessment. But interesting to note, if he does fail, the Broncos will be able to activate their 18th man because it was foul play and Felice Kafusi was bin. That's right, Corey Oates, so certainly not like for like. Unless they'll be sweating on Adam Reynolds passing that concussion test. Here's Lemu Wellu. Now Pangai Jr. What's his game plan here? We butchered his last attempt at offload, so just happy to punch it forward. Last, 10 away. O'Sullivan, the hammer, gets it on. Beautiful from the Dolphins. It's Amarillo who goes over and a man down. The hammer makes his mark in the Battle of Brisbane. Breaks through that Brisbane defensive line. Beautiful set play there. And just as Tristan Saylor comes in to shut it down. Well, what a great period for the, for the Dolphins. Down a man, uh, and, and I, I think tough. Will Barrett is way to the line. Crash play, Carrigan over. Carrigan's in, Broncos hit back. And they do it through sheer brutality. Carrigan finds the smallest man on the field in the line. He makes a low tackle and falls over into the try line. From 12 points to six, once Stags puts this through, which he does. It's Dolphins 12, Broncos 6. So Walters gets it on, Ricky drops it. Now, look out, it's a hammer, he's away, oh, he's good. gone. Another error from the Broncos on the attack. That's the third in the space of a couple of minutes. The Broncos turn over. The Dolphins almost, almost open them up with Asako. Only a couple of plays before, they drop the ball and the hammer goes the length of the field. Ricky spills the pass, just running the wrong line. This hammer is... So Tabuai Fido picks up the bouncing ball and he's already smiling. He knows he's going to This is not the fair, though. He... He was toying with Sailor. Sailor is giving it everything. That man, the hammer, is looking at the screen in second gear. And then just stepped it up ever so slightly, just to make sure. Oh, that's uh, that's a special Battle of Brisbane moment. Hammer so gets a mention just about every time. So Broncos have had such a good period, but it's now the Dolphins, 18-6 leaders. Hamaso Tabuai Fido, that's try 49 of his career, and what an important one for the Dolphins, considering that he's their start, starting fullback. He moved to the uh, centres here tonight. Wayne Bennett said he took the news really well. He knew that it's all about putting the team first to get in position and get Trey Fuller into the side. And good news for the Broncos. They did concede that try, but Adam Reynolds has passed his HIA. We're seeing this hit here. That was the hit that put Felice Kafusi in the bin. Reynolds passed his HIA due to return to this game very soon. Thank you, Jake. And he's on the field already. So Adam Reynolds is back. Oh, yeah, heavy contact, and that's a problem. Willison got up there on stone. This could be a problem. Six foot six like Xavier Willison is. If you don't bend your back, well, you're going to run into someone. Big hit. Certainly point of the shoulder into the head. Mm. That, 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 that's the sort of tackle that does get... Xavier, yeah? He's gone. Xavier. He's gone, Xavier. That's about to be 13 on 12, Dolphins way. Avarillo, the 5'8". Farnworth steaming onto it and crashing through. Farnworth away, holding it up for Avarillo. Oh, it's a clinic. It's a Dolphin clinic. Avarillo scores, number two. Very quick to react. Just watch the play here back on the inside. That's a bad one-on-one -on -one miss there. And Herbie Farnworth does enough to just drag Tristan Saylor towards him and throw the pass to Jake Avarillo. Too easy from Herbie Farnworth, not enough numbers there. 
Uh, the Dolphins really Blake did. Mosa, the man that missed the tackle. Coming across from the inside, had no help. But you need to be making those tackles one on one when required. And Blake Moser fails. The seat to six. Second set with the extra man. They're not there yet, but they're flying. And right now they are in the top eight. And their lead expands 24 to 6. That tells you a story for Tony Staggs. I think we can assume there his day, his night is done. The groin injury is in. He's in his dress uniform, so down to 16, the Broncos. And this will be the last now. From centre field, it comes across O'Sullivan to Avarillo. Subtle, forward, powerful, yes! Herbie's in! And he's putting on some performance. And once again, cutting back on the inside. Uh, that is an incredible try from Herbie Farmworth, who, well, he just might be the best player on the field so far tonight. Uh, but when you look at it and when you break it down, it was telegraphed. Everyone could see that Herbie was coming back on the inside, but the Brisbane defence just did not react at all. There was enough Brisbane jerseys there to stop Herbie Farnworth. I, did he go through untouched? Did anyone even touch him? Because that is a miserable try when you're talking from Brisbane's perspective. The, the, the Broncos must be in shock. The box must be in shock. That's great stuff from the from the Dolphins. He said he had a few moments and a few shocking games that weren't to his standard. But his last few weeks, he's been getting better each and every week. Well, he's been at full throttle tonight, and the Dolphins lead 30 to six. Lining up though, the Dolphins, they all want a piece of it. It comes to O'Sullivan. Here's Hamaso Tabiai Fida. Duck under the high tackle. It's gone. Hamaso Tabiai Fida is in again. You can't do that against Hamaso. What a great athlete he is. We've spent enough time down here to come up with a try. This last set was was pretty dour from the, the Dolphins, but at 30 to 6, they can afford to be. They can afford to just hang on to the ball and just through sheer weight of possession down this end of the field and not putting their bodies on the line. Great stuff from Sean O'Sullivan, the footwork back on the inside, going hard to the right. Kura goes high, ricochets off Billy Walters. 34 to 16. The Dragon, it was all in the Dragons' hands. If they were able to win two games, bang, that's it. Doesn't matter what happens below them. I'm sure people on their browsers or wherever they get their scores saw the Dragons score 40 and what? They lost 40? Dolphins 36 to 6. Pingo Jr. Ball play. There it comes out. And look at the space. Azarko stumbles. He's way he's short. His footing has cost him a try. He doesn't. Even though Tristan Saylor and Cobbo were there. Uh, if he stays upright. Now it's O'Sullivan. Beautiful hands. Farnworth again. It's Herbie's night. And it just gets better and better. Herbie has a double. The back five from the Broncos. Herbie Farnworth with two tries now. Asako with two tries. The Hammer with two tries. Jake Amarillo. They've all scored multiple tries. And Herbie Farnworth certainly deserves that one. Well... This is a very special performance. We've seen the likes of Katoni Staggs dominate games of late for Brisbane. And it looks like it will go through to the finish. Zarko, multiple winner. Two times he's been the top point scorer. And not this time. First miss of the night. 40 to 6. Now Sailor trying to get a final moment. Oh, he does well, but he can't haul it in. And Fuller in no hurry to play it. It has been... A Dolphin domination. Redcliffe has run rampant. The Battle of Brisbane belongs to the team from the Peninsula. It's the Dolphins night and they're still alive in 2024. Utter devastation for Kevin Walters. But tonight belongs to those men in red as the Dolphins take one step closer to a maiden finals appearance.